Hello everyone, this is Maribel's Marine Fish Tank and this is a Nano Reef Aquarium. Yeah, um, it may not look like much as now, but like, I'll get some stuff soon started. But like, um, well anyway, it is already started because I have one fish in a coral. And, also, I have a problem with one coral that's not really opening and if you can tell me why exactly cause like it's my first time owning a, a clownfish and a coral at the same time well not at the same time but a separate time uh, close apart I guess and um Forgive me if I'm a bit ignorant of taking these animals away from their pet store habitat to their trying to get them back to nature in their reef aquarium. But, um, yeah, I have some doubts sometimes about taking care of my own personal stuff and not really. <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about right now, but like, um, what I'm trying to say is, I'm trying to take care of, I'm trying to make the animals go happy and taking care of themselves and yada yada and all that stuff, but, um, right now, um, they're not looking too happy at all. Maybe, probably because there's still an empty tank and it's new still for a reason. And, um, yeah, I'm trying to get there to get some fishy friends and corals too. But, um, I'm just doing this video because I'm bored, guys. Sorry, I have nothing to say. But, uh, let's get started, shall we? First, I have this light. Which is I'm not kind of, I'm not quite too sure what voltage is it, um, but it's the only light that I have right now for the coral. I noticed that the good lights are sun coral and coral sun sunlight um, low lights that have in, in different pet stores like Petco or PetSmart that carries them around, but like, um, yeah, I'll get those later as soon as this light turns off on its own and not work anymore. And, uh, I do have a good filtrage flow and, uh, a wave pressure, well, not a wave pressure, but like a head pump to circulate the water and a heater to just heat the temperature and what's I mean to keep the temperature on what's on what it's supposed to be in the right temperature of a reef nano reef I guess and the little pump that's pumping just circulating the water too as well um and another filter just for an extra waste that goes around the tank and what circulates it, I guess. I'm a bit worried though about my coral. Sorry guys. And um, I hope it doesn't die if it doesn't open or something like that. But um, after like this light, when I'm finished off this light, I'll buy another one for it because um, I know it's not the proper wattage for it maybe I guess I don't know if someone can tell me by the description comment down below just say some stuff that would help me to get my coral happy and blooming again <laughs> Because it was happy and blooming in the store, in the pit store, I guess, and um, its habitat was with the other corals. But um, I just sort of purchased it 
this is a a um, Dragonite Zoa, by the way. It looks like a radioactive Dragonite Zoa, but um, I just picked this coral because it's kind of cute or cool in a weird way. <laughs> but um, yeah, it's my first coral. I wanted to get a Norman coral, but they say the guy in pet stores told me that um, that one hurts the most for the fish and mostly sometimes I know it, it sounds like completely not true but like uh, it's my first clownfish and I don't want it to die and I'm just trying to take care of it being alive and happy right now it doesn't look like too much happy at all without corals I guess or without any fishy buddies but I'm getting to that soon and um, I hope you can watch my next video of doing the nano tank part 2 and I'm having this long time uh, talk over here but um, stay tuned for my nano tank I guess and see you later Bye.